So the owner also says that this unit, it keeps icing up. So it's early in the morning, they haven't even opened, look. So yeah, it's definitely icing up. Gaskets or the door is just not shutting. That's getting sucked into the. Also, there's supposed to be door frame heaters. Actually, seems like that may be what's going on. Yeah. There's no door frame heaters active, it doesn't feel like. Alright, so this unit's controller. This is how it's oriented. So this is your compressor wires in. And what you have is this is the actual intelligence of the controller. So it's always sending power to the compressor on that wire. And then it closes the relay and sends it out to the compressor, which is this outlet. So there's two door frame heaters, uh, two door frame heater wires, right? So number three with the red terminal head runs to this wire. And then you've got one down to neutral and one there. So there's your door frame heaters. So the question is, are we providing voltage to the door frame heaters or is the heater itself shorted out somewhere? So we don't have any amps on the door frame heater. So I'm gonna unhook the terminals and check voltage. So I'm going to put this on neutral, and I'm going to put this over on my number three. And I actually just did this without, so there you go, that's good. And now my meter is the heater, and I got nothing. So it is not energizing. The controller is not energizing the door heaters. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check it here check this wire because this is the wire coming in from the controller so maybe the controller is giving it power and the relay won't close all right here's the easiest way to check this i took what was the number four wire that ran to that that's the terminal that was providing the 120 volts to that circuit and i plugged my heater directly to it so basically all i'm doing is i'm bypassing the relay that should be open and energizing that right now and it's not or is it? So I put my heaters on, now I got half an amp. So that relay of that board is bad. And unfortunately that means you just gotta replace the board. 